and welcome to this lesson on the tune Bobby Shafto. This is a piece of sheet music I produced a few years back so it's a little bit different to my more recent ones but it's basically much the same. We're in the key of G major so the notes on the G row will have the normal heads and the notes on the D row will have the diamond heads. So key of G major means all F's are sharp and we've got four beats to the bar. Now if you look at the first bar you can see that you have got the notes on the stave of course You've got the tiny numbers underneath show you the fingering, the right hand fingering. Uh, you've got the names of the notes on top of the notes. So the, the, the notes in the first part are G, 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 C. Now the first three notes are all push. You can see the word push written on top of the first note. And that changes on the fourth note of the bar, which you have to pull. We then have on top of that capital G, lowercase g, capital G, lowercase d. Capital letters indicate bass notes and lowercase letters indicate chords. So in that first bar you've got G bass, you've got G chord, you've got G bass, and you've got D chord. Okay, but I'll go through that again in a moment. This is a third button start instrument, which means to say the third button down on the G row on the push is the note G, and on the D row it's D. We're actually starting on that note of G, so third button down. So if you have a fourth button start instrument, you'll be starting on the fourth button down. This is finger two, you see the tiny number two underneath, and you play that note three times as three crotchets. One, two, three. You can see some small dots underneath those notes because it means you play the notes staccato, but you don't have to play it in that style if you don't want to. Staccato means short and detached. So that's your first bar right hand wise. So you have three Gs, and then the button below on the pull gives you the note C. So G, 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 C, see the names of the notes there. Push, 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 pull. Now, when you play that C note, you operate the air button. On this instrument is a push in button. If you've got an old honer, it'll be a pull down button. And you do that because you need to get some extra air in your bellows for all the push notes that are coming up. And when you do it, you need to uh, pull a bit harder so that your audience doesn't perceive the change in volume. The left hand there written on top of the push and the pull, you've got G bass, G chord, G bass, D chord. So it's button four, button three, button four, button three. And when you do the pull on the last bit of the bar, of course you'll have a D chord, which is the same button as the G chord. So G bass, G chord, G bass, D chord. You see? So button four, three, four, three. And there, see, as you play that C note and the D chord, that's where you operate the air button. And you've got the same amount of items in the right hand as you have the left. 